until very recently, I don't think we would, we would be saying there was an automotive sector in Uganda. The reason being, um, we have been engaged essentially in importing vehicles and moreover used vehicles which on the average are about 16 years old from the time of registration and uh, any engagement in that automotive industry has been real about either maintaining them bring them from out repairing them <laughs> and so on uh, the idea of developing an automotive sector in uganda I think can only be traced to what we did when we were at the university, Makerere University. Okay. And uh, this goes back to 2007, uh, when I led, if you like, um, a team of young people, like these ones here, to participate in any international uh, project, consortium, of 31 universities that was then led by Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Yeah. And uh, after doing rounds of uh, elimination and so forth, we in Uganda, Makere University, ended up being the only African university to take part in that consortium of 31 universities whose agenda was essentially to see if we could use the technologies that had been used to go to space, to the moon, to solve earthly problems. Okay. So we assembled around that theme, and our first vehicle that we set out to build was known as Vision 200. The intention was to build it for the Indian market okay. and uh, make sure it is cheap affordable. The aim was to actually price it at about $5,000, but I know by the time we finished, <laughs> it was slight, slightly more. So for us, that was now an impetus because whereas the rest of the universities uh, had the capacity to be able to take this Vision 200 to their countries and show them what those countries' children had been able to do, in Uganda, I, we couldn't, I couldn't, I didn't have the money. So what we decided was that given that we were able to participate effectively in that Vision 200 uh, production, okay, I basically came and instructed my teaching assistant then, he's now the CEO, a big guy in, in this whole thing now, to say, look, we shall not raise money to bring that and come and show Ugandans. Instead, set up teams. Let's see if we can design our own vehicle and uh, then realize it, build it. Yeah. So we did that for over a period of about two years. Okay. And uh, with the PowerPoint presentations, we would go and the, you know, tell communities that, that uh, the experience we got when we built this Vision 200 in uh, Torino. And the first vehicle we wanted to produce was to help our young people at the university campus to move around. But then along the way, um, the president got to learn about what this strange professor was doing in the, at the university with these things and came and uh, gave him a presentation just like, and the shop said, look, you're doing something good. We're going to support it.